father inside. I don't know. Calm. A couple, Andy and Vicky, look at their baby, Charlie, at the beginning of the movie. After Charlie is placed in her crib, the mobile above her catches fire. The moment Andy picks Charlie up, she catches on fire. But it was just a dream. Upon entering the kitchen, Andy discovered Charlie seated alone after an apparent nightmare. Her fears were discussed with him as he comforted her. It won't be long before they are making breakfast together after Andy helps Charlie feel better. As a young couple, Andy and Vicky undergo clinical trials under the supervision of Dr. Wanless. A drug called Lot 6 is administered to the two. In his professional life, Andy is a psychologist. Due to Lot 6, he is capable of manipulating people's thoughts. Despite using his power, he is shown bleeding from the eyes after convincing a woman to stop smoking. Now imagine the darling that you want to be. Now look at me in the eyes. More positive. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. During her school days, Charlie faces bullying from her classmates. They have a teacher named Gardner who is kinder to Charlie. Vicky finds Charlie crying at home, thinking that she is a freak, but Vicky assures Charlie that she is unique. Charlie's powers are becoming more difficult for her to control, so she talks to Andy about it. On the following day, Charlie is hit by a dodgeball during gym class. To calm herself down, she goes to the bathroom. Gardner discovers Charlie hiding in the bathroom stall. The door blows off its hinges because she is too powerful. Charlie? Following the incident, Andy and Vicky are called in to discuss what should be done with Charlie. In an attempt to calm her, Charlie sets the arms of her mother on fire as she overhears them arguing. Well, I would never push my own kid. If they catch her, they're gonna walk her away. Charlie, I need you to go to your room right now. The right thing to do, Charlie. Was, was that, right. And I'm not special. I'm a monster. And I hate you. It's okay. It's okay. Charlie's powers are monitored nearby by Captain Hollister based on readings obtained after the school incident. Rainbird, a custodian with superpowers, is contacted by her to locate Charlie and bring her back to the facility. A visit to the ice cream shop helps Charlie feel better. Vicky is alone at home when Rainbird discovers her and interrogates her about Charlie's location. The two fight briefly before Rainbird kills Vicky. Where did they go? Ice cream. Or the movies. How could you work for them? Rainbird catches Charlie at knife point and holds her at gunpoint when Andy and Charlie return home. Charlie burns Rainbird to free herself and locates Vicky's body later on. Okay, here, take that to the trash. Where's mommy? <gasps> Safe. They run away from Rainbird before he can catch them. Wenless lives in a retirement home where Hollister visits him. Because they are unaware of how dangerous Charlie is, she explains the situation to him, and he urges Hollister to kill her. After Andy stops for rest, Charlie attempts to control her powers on her own. In her attempts to be friendly with the cat, Charlie accidentally burns the cat to death after being scratched by it. And they make a memorial for Vicky while burying the cat. In an effort to obtain a ride, Andy uses his power to flag down a man named Irv to give them a lift. During the trip, they stop at his house, where his wife Essie, who is better than following an accident, is being cared for. Charlie finds Essie in her room and telepathically communicates with her. Irv gets angry but apologizes later for overreacting. Then, at night, Andy tells Charlie how he used his power to kill the bad men who kidnapped her when she was a baby. Your partner comes back, you're gonna shoot him in the chest, and then you're gonna forget how to breathe. Then Irv saw a news report that Andy killed his wife and kidnapped his daughter. Irv believes him to be a murderer. After an argument with Andy, Charlie says that she spoke to Issy and forgave Irv for the accident, so that he won't blame himself. As the cops arrive, Irv decides to help Andy and Charlie escape. 
During Irv's conversation with the cops, Rainbird shoots them all, and he then goes after Andy and Charlie to catch them in the woods. Oh, Charlie. Hey, and I'm drunk. I'd like to search your- <laughs> Charlie was able to escape after Andy tricked Rainbird with his power. Andy and Rainbird are then arrested by Hollister agents. Then she speaks with Rainbird, who is now working against her facility because he was experimented on and regards Charlie as a sister. As Hollister interrogates Andy, he refuses to reveal where Charlie is. As Charlie gains more control over her powers, she becomes more confident. Using three bullets, she gets a bike and some clothes. I like your bike. then finds a man working at Hollister's facility. In an attempt to kill her, Charlie then uses her powers to set him on fire and takes his key card. Is my father inside? I don't know! No! After making it to the facility, Charlie finds Andy. As a result, Hollister threatens to kill him if Charlie does not surrender. As a last resort, Andy using his power to Charlie so she can burn the place down, despite not wanting to do so. Burn it all down. After killing all the guards, she frees Rainbird. Charlie is attempted to be taken by men in fireproof suits, but Rainbird kills them. Rainbird then knelt before Charlie willing to be killed but Charlie forgave her after realizing that she was starting to become a bad person. Rainbird then picks up Charlie and carries her away from the burning facility in his arms. If you like this video don't forget to subscribe. Because by subscribing you have supported me to make better videos. What movie do you want next? Just comment below. Have a nice day.